song. I love it. Eating healthy when you're pregnant. Well, that can be difficult if you have crazy cravings and even crazier schedule. But eating right is important for developing your baby's brain and showing us how to make delicious and nutritious meals for two are the owners of 11 Courses Catering, Jim and Melissa Benson. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. So Melissa, obviously, is expecting mom. How are yeah, you? How you okay. feeling? Feeling good. Yeah, everything eating kicking healthy. around in there? Yep. Okay, Definitely. that's good. That's when do you do? Um, May. In so, May, yeah. okay, so you have a little time. while to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but just before summer starts. That's right. right, right in time for the busy season. So, there you, you go. Know, we'll put on the work. <laughs> so now tell me, which foods are like rich in folic acid? Because I'm thinking leafy greens. Right, right. right. So definitely so, leafy greens, spinach okay. is, is one of them. Mm -hmm. um, some of the other items that are a little less known are oranges. So that's something we'll demonstrate mm -hmm. in a few okay. minutes here. I didn't know that. Asparagus, of course, mm -hmm. broccoli. Uh, tomatoes also uh, have a, a pretty high content, which is great. Mm -hmm. And then certain beans like and, and different peas, so like lentils, um, black eyed peas here are really also high too so those are all great foods that, that are important. Definitely, to. definitely and with the dish we're preparing today okay. it's a great example of just doing <laughs> simple food uh, without getting into any kind of crazy ingredients so you can eat healthy but it can also taste great so we take with a lean chicken breast we just okay. simply dust it with a little bit of Parmesan we want to kind of get a good sear in the pan okay. and then once we give about four minutes on one side, okay. you know, you want to be able to kind of move it around and right. then turn it over. And then you'll get a nice, beautiful brown color oh, there. Oh, yeah, that is nice. And so we add a little bit of that that, uh, that uh, Parmesan just to give it a little flavor. Uh, and then to that, we can start building our simple sauce. So we're okay. going to incorporate some fresh oranges segments. So, you know, okay. pick out your And these are little oranges. oranges that you can yeah, just go and yeah. peel and put in there? Exactly. Or? Get okay. a clementine or what have you oh, and then right. they'll go yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with that, we're just going to add a little bit of a reduction of orange that we made and just taking the same orange, putting in a warm pan and just reduce it down. So we're just reinforcing the same flavors, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be very poignant and flavorful. So it's got uh, a, nice, a nice sweet flavor uh, with the right. orange. That's right. Add a little bit of about a teaspoon of a balsamic that we okay. add a little bit of orange juice to as well a, a teaspoon of sesame oil now, and this is our take uh, just from <laughs> a habit force a habit you know okay. uh, about uh, two tablespoons of fresh orange juice and you reduce it down we're taking a play on orange chicken you know so you know you can have your takeout in yeah, uh, for the viewers good. at home right. and then I'll uh, finish with a little bit of black sesame seeds which kind of play off of the sesame oil and then a little salt and pepper to taste and then you have a simple dish that you can make at home and then pair it with a little bit of fresh asparagus um, and then you have just a, just a wonderful simple fresh yeah. vibrant dish rich in folic acid right, which is right, good right. so melissa tell me what other types of foods should we be on the lookout for for pregnant moms so things that are rich in calcium are also really important mm -hmm. um, things with dha which is an omega-3 fatty acid which you can get in fatty fish like salmon, salmon. exactly yeah. so okay. yeah. um, you know there's there's kind of like that that fine line of avoiding certain fish that have high mercury content, but then also eating things like salmon and eating them regularly during pregnancy right. is actually really important. Um, and and salmon's a good one because you yes. can eat it cold or hot. Right. You can right. do like a lot of different like applications. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's good for you. Yeah. yeah, versatility is great. You know, especially with a lot of fresh vegetables. You know, mm -hmm. there's so much you can do with it if you just kind of explore and experiment at home, which is part of the fun of cooking. And especially, uh, you know, as as a new mom or a you know, mother to be, you know, it's something that you can really you know get excited about. Mm -hmm. um, some of the share for, for the future. Because right, it has that's, to taste good, especially yeah. when you're pregnant. Yeah. yeah. If, if you want to keep it consistent, you know, it has to taste yeah. good. Yeah. So. It's not a diet, yeah. it's just eating yeah. healthy. So yeah. it's just yeah. making sure that you have that balance of, you know, sweet and salty and just rich flavors that, mm -hmm. that taste really, really good. It makes it easy. So tell me now, as an expectant mommy, what are some of the foods that you're trying to avoid? Right. So certain things to avoid are different cheeses, like the softer cheeses, so like blue cheese, goat cheese, brie, okay. um, all that can contain listeria, and you definitely want to stay away from that. Okay. Um, so that's very dangerous. Any raw meats or uh, raw fish, of course, again, you want to stay away from those things too. Right, gotcha. But all of these, now, what's your favorite so far that we have here? Because you said you had tomato orzo? Yes, I, I think that's a, an excellent example yeah, of I'd a dish that. where you know, kind of, kind of kind of can be important in all seasons. So, you know, in the yeah. summer, it's something really great and mm -hmm. light, uh, but in the winter, it's something comforting uh, as well. And so with this, so we have a simple orzo salad with sun-dried tomatoes, some fresh uh, yellow, um, 
heirloom tomatoes with mm -hmm. a little lemon infused olive oil, salt and pepper, some sunflower seeds for some of that crunch, mm -hmm. um, and uh, some pine nuts. And, and you, you just really can't go wrong with just simple flavors and, of course, the health benefits of the broccoli as well. And we just simply uh, blanch those. They're so vibrantly green. If you overcook them, you're going to lose a lot of those nutrients that you want to retain right. you know, to maintain that healthy eating uh, gotcha. you know, regimen. Yeah. All right. Well, Jim and yeah. Melissa Benson, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on the thank baby. Yeah, little thank baby you. Benson. You'll yeah. have to send in some pictures. <laughs> Let us know right. what you're having, a little girl or a boy. All right, well, thank you again for coming in. And ladies, expecting, make sure you get your folic acid.